take control of your future and learn to code. This is how I would learn if I had to start all over from scratch. My name is Robert and I have over 10 years of professional experience in working on some really cool coding projects. I've wrote software for the Air Force for a company named Northrop Grumman who built the B-2 bomber. I've traveled to China to work with firmware developers. I've flown in helicopters after they were worked on using the software that I maintained. I also have my own business that is running entirely on my own code that has generated over $7 million in two years. I've done all of this with only an associate's degree and never actually even having the qualifications that the job listing showed as required. I got my start coding in high school when I would use HTML and CSS and JavaScript to edit MySpace layouts. After high school, I went to a technical college and got my associates in computer programming. After a few years of working, I realized that what I had learned in college, I probably could have just taught myself. The most important skill you should learn is the ability to teach yourself. If you take anything away from this video, I really hope it's this concept. You can teach yourself to do anything. If you put in the time and work, there's no limit to what you can learn. It's all been done before and the information is freely available on the internet. There are four key things that I think you must have to become a successful software engineer and land your first great job. The first thing you need is just your basic programming knowledge. You need to have a high level understanding of how object oriented programming works and have built a few projects on your own to be able to explain to someone how they work. Number two is you need problem solving skills. You need to get good at being self-reliant on finding solutions to problems. Pretty much any problem that you encounter while writing code hasn't been encountered by someone else and the solution is freely available on websites like Stack Overflow. Getting good at Googling the solutions to your problems is a crucial part of being a developer. Number three, you need good people skills. You don't have to be an excellent technical interviewer to land a job. I am a terrible technical interviewer. And when I get asked textbook definitions of programming concepts, I just, I'm not good at answering those questions. But I would fire back with, I don't know the textbook answer to that, but I could just Google my way to figuring it out. I can speak fluently about high level technical concepts, and that's more than enough to actually land a job. And number four, you've got to have a positive mindset. With programming, you have the ability to change the world. There is no limit to what you can create. Be willing to take on new tasks, regardless of what your experience is. Have a track record on taking on new challenges and overcoming them. I highly recommend starting with the C-sharp programming language. It's a language by Microsoft and it's very user-friendly and easy to get set up. I will link some great beginner tutorials in the description of this video. It'll show you how to get the environment set up and build out your first couple super easy applications to get started writing code. Once you've got a few tutorials under your belt, take a look at your day-to-day -day life and find something that you could potentially automate or write software to kind of help you with. It could even be something as simple as making a list for your weekly groceries or what your monthly bills are. Build something very simple to help you in your day-to-day -day life. And by doing that, it's something that you're gonna find useful and you can start to see the power of programming. On your first few projects, don't try and change the world or go above and beyond your current skill set. These first few projects should be very simple. You don't want to overdo it. You might get too frustrated and end up not completing the project or just giving up on programming altogether. You want to keep it simple. But every time you start a new project, you should push yourself to learn one new feature or one new concept that you haven't used in the past. Every time you try to build something new and you actually finish it, it's gonna be the best hit of dopamine that you've ever experienced in your life. You'll keep wanting that and you're gonna keep yearning to build the next project to get that next hit of dopamine. After you've built a few personal projects for yourself, you should go and try and find a small business that's doing most of their stuff manually without much computer intervention and approach them and see if there's something that you can build for them for either free or pennies on the dollar. The experience you'll get from building the software for them will pay for itself 10 times over when you do actually land a job. You need to show that you're eager to learn and to land your first opportunity. If you've worked on your own personal side projects, list that as experience. Create a line item for a freelance developer and put all of those projects that you've worked under there. Don't cut yourself short. You've actually built things. Just because it's not a professional environment doesn't mean it's not experience. And if your past work experience is only at a fast food restaurant, list out the things that you did at that restaurant. Say you're solving problems and working with the team and really sell yourself. Make the interviewer truly believe that you're gonna be a valuable asset to that company. 
and go to as many interviews as you can. Like anything, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. And the more you interview, the more comfortable you're gonna be answering questions and selling yourself. Once you land your first job, the worst thing you could do is pigeonhole yourself into that job. You need to be exposing yourself to all other technology stacks and environments. You don't want to get pigeonholed into the way that business is operating and writing code. Whether it's working on a side project at home, or you can even moonlight as a part-time developer for other businesses while doing that job. If you continue to diversify yourself and learn and work on as many projects as you possibly can, you'll become an extremely valuable developer. After a year or two at your first job, you should probably consider looking for a new one that's in a completely different industry and different tech stack. One of the cool things about job hopping as a software engineer is it almost always comes with a pay increase. Once you've spent five to 10 years working as a software engineer professionally, you should have exposed yourself to multiple different industries and you should be at a point to where you could start writing software for yourself to potentially build your own business if that's something that you want to do. Some people don't have the entrepreneurial drive and would just rather work their nine to five and climb their way up the corporate ladder until retirement. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And you can make a ton of money doing that. But for people like me, I want a more fulfilling life and I want to be in control of my own time and what I work on when and where and how. There is no limit to what you can build and what your future may hold. Get out there and change your life and quite possibly the world. There is no other career where that is more possible than with being a computer programmer. Thanks for watching guys and I truly hope this inspires you to potentially become a computer programmer. You can teach yourself to do anything, I promise you. I'll post some helpful links in the description of this video to get started. Comment down below with any questions you might have and I'll answer every single one of you. Please like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this. I look forward to bringing you guys along for the ride and me becoming a better entrepreneur and programmer.